So next up we have got Rujakran Jumtrong of Thailand who beat Ole Chulyacheyev of Ukraine by unanimous decision up against Kivin Alakok of Guyana who got a bye in the opening round. And whoever wins this one will go through to fight Essenbeck, who we just saw there. Jamal Harvey, who we also win earlier on. He'll get the Brazilian, Luis de Nascimento. This is our final fight in the featherweight division in this session. Jintron got a bronze medal at the Asian Games in 2018. He's in a red corner. This is Alicott making his way to the blue corner. Boxed in Tokyo. Got knocked out by Alexis De La Cruz at the Olympic Games. Boxed in the World Championships two years ago. Quarter finalist at the Palam Games that year. Boxed at the Commonwealth Games in 2018. And a silver medal at the Youth Commonwealth Games the year before that. So both of these two have had their, their outings on the elite senior stage. Jintrong with that win under his belt against Ukraine. But I do think it's an advantage if you've got a fight under your belt. The fitness levels of these athletes is such that the fact that they've already boxed once is not going to make any difference to them when it comes to this contest. Of course, Alicock will be completely fresh, but... Jun Trong will have recovered between fights. I've no doubt about that. Krista Palman of Sweden, our referee. Seen some good fights in Ring B so far. Particularly those last two. So into the first. Jun Trong, Thailand. In the red, boxing out of the southpaw stance. Alicot Guyana in the blue. An orthodox fighter. Looking for the jab there, John Tronk. Left to the body there from John Tronk. with the left of the body the tie that time Alicock was looking for the same kind of thing dipped his knees shooting that right hand straight down the middle looking for the chest right hand to the body there from Alicock Midway through the round. Jintrong just reaching for that, that left of the body himself, but just pulled off it slightly. He wasn't quite in range for it. So rather than extend and chase it in, as I said a couple of fights ago, just, just brings it back. If it's not there, it's not there. Left of the body there from Jun Trong. The feet were a lot closer. So that time it did land. It's the final minute of round one. Jun Trong has just picked his punches slightly better in this opening round. There's not been a great deal between these two, but... I think he's done a slightly better job. They've been looking for the same thing a lot of the time, which is that backhand to the body. Yeah. 
Left into the body there from Jun Trong, but Alacock answered him back there. Jun Trong, as he was up close, just stood up quite tall. Chin came up a bit. So Bell goes at the end of round one. And Juntron gets it across the board there with the five judges from Morocco, France, Korea, Kyrgyzstan and Canada. Very little separating these two in terms of age. Just a couple of months, both of them 25 years old. Jun Trong's had 75 bouts prior to tonight. Alicock, 92. Our volunteers at ringside, see them everywhere in the venue, back at the hotel, pretty much everywhere in between. Been fantastically well organised this competition so far. Jun Trong just looking for that left hand again there, going straight down the middle to the body. And let's go with the right hand and the left to the body. Alicott looking more aggressive at the start of round two. The scores are available to the corners in between rounds. They've got little screens in the corners. They'll get them straight away. So the coaches know what to say to their fighter. So Alicott has come out with some real purpose at the start of round two because he will know that he needs to provide an answer here. He needs to try and level things up. Left to the body there from Jun Trong. He just takes those feet in. Alicott just reaching for that right. Left of the body there from Jun Trong was a good shot. He just made Alicock fall slightly short with his right to the body and then fired his own punch in. Left on the inside there from Jun Trong. Alicock, as I said, has tried to increase the pressure in this second round. But when he's come in, Jun Trong has, has picked his punch as well, as he has done all the way through the fight so far, really. And again there from Jun Trong. Alicott coming forward, just trying to get on top of him physically a little bit, but Jun Trong manages to disentangle. Right hand there from Alicock, really stepped into that, pursued him. And looks for the right hand again there, doesn't quite manage to land it that time. So there goes the bell at the end of round two. Jun Trong with uh, a clean sweep in the first round. And in the second round as well. So he's got a 20 point to 18 advantage on all five scorecards. And looking in good shape to head through to the round of 16 in the featherweight division. We've got the super heavyweights to come after this. Jun Trong as long as he avoids calamity in this final round, we'll be up against Essenbeck, who we just saw beat Gligoric in our previous fight in the next round, that is. Your third and final round. 
So third and final round. Rajikram Juntrong of Thailand in the red corner. Kevin Alakok of Guyana in the blue. Juntrong has dominated this fight so far. Picked his punches a little bit better. It's not been one-sided. Alakok has, has persevered. And again, he's looking to try and get on the front foot in the second round. But Juntrong has just had a little bit too much for him. Jab there from Jun Trong and then just moves off to his right hand side. Alicock aiming that right hand, but it's been difficult to pin Jun Trong down. That's been the problem. He's tried hard, he's trying to cut that ring off. You see his feet there, just moving them as swiftly as he can to try and pin his man in the corner. But Jun Trong has managed to find the exit when he's needed it. One, two there. Didn't really land from the TIE fighter. Short left there from Alicock, just got through. Juntrong just holding a touch there in the in the blue corner. That's what the referee was saying to him. Not long to go now for him. He knows that he was in a healthy lead going into this final round. Nice left hand off the back foot there from Juntrong. He's a skillful fighter. Moves well, as I keep saying, picks his punches well. Never seems in too much of a hurry. And Alicock has tried to bring the pressure to his door as much as he can, but... He's never really been able to make him look uncomfortable. Jun Trong with the fist raised there. He'll be going through to the next stage. And next up after this, we'll have the super heavyweights. So Juntron gets it and it's 10 lines across the board in that third and final round as well. So three rounds to nil with all five judges, 30 points to 27. Fairly straightforward fight to score. And he goes through to tackle Essenbeck of Kyrgyzstan in the, in the next round.